Hello, I'm Jeremy Morgan, a developer evangelist here at Pluralsight. Welcome to the Code Portfolio Challenge. Now in this challenge, we're building an online resume that hiring people can view. We'll take our resume and put it online in a cool way to show off our portfolio. Now this is a great project for new coders or folks just looking to get ahead in their career. Let's build something cool that we can show off with a portfolio. Now the rules of the challenge are pretty simple. Create a JSON file with your job history in your own format or a format that you find online. Include information like your name, contact information, personal statement, key points, and job experience. Use JavaScript to render it to HTML. Now you can use Vanilla.js, but a front-end framework like Vue or React will probably save you some time. Finally, add it to your GitHub public profile and share the project in Discord. You can get all the information for this challenge on our website at the following URL. Your solution can be anything you want that renders JSON into an HTML web page for a resume. I've decided I will enter this challenge and put up a resume for the world to see. I've chosen to use Vue to get this done, and we'll go through my solution together. Your solution might be a lot different, and that's okay. But let's jump into how I approach this challenge. Now let's start with the JSON. So I decided instead of trying to invent my own schema, I'd look for something that's already been done. And if you go to this URL, jsonresume.org slash schema, and you can see a really well thought out JSON resume schema. It includes contact information, work, volunteer stuff, and education. Perfect, we don't need to reinvent the wheel here. So I have a schema here and I need to basically use JavaScript to read this and turn it into HTML. What I'm going to do is use a Vue.js application to do it. So let's build a Vue app. Now, first I need to install the Vue CLI. That stands for Command Line Interface. Now you must have Node.js installed to do this. Type in npm install g at Vue slash CLI. All right, so I got a few warnings here, but that's okay. We'll use the CLI to scaffold and build our Vue application. Now I want to name my application JSON Resume. So I'll type in Vue Create JSON Resume. And I'm going to pick Vue 3. And it will scaffold out my application. Now what this means is it will create a very basic Vue application with all the right folders and files that we can kind of jump in and start modifying. And it's generated. So we can see here the instructions for running it. Let's run our sample view application. I'll type in CD JSON resume and then NPM run serve. Cool. I have a local app running here on port 8080. And I load it up in a browser and there's my view app running locally. Cool. So now I have my project loaded up in Visual Studio Code. One thing I did was download the sample JSON from jsonresume.org. And this is what I'm going to read with this view application. So if you look at this application, we have a component named hello world.view. And it contains three parts, a template, script, and style. Now templates organize how the data will look in HTML. Scripts perform operations with JavaScript to get that data. And style sections control what it looks like. All of this is a self-contained component. Now we're gonna delete hello world.view and create our own component. So we'll create a file named dynamicresume.view and this will be our new component. Now first we'll create our template section. This will define how our data is arranged before we export it out to be displayed on a web page. And we'll start with the template tag. And then I'll create a div with the ID of dynamic resume. Next, I'm going to create an H1 and use the view HTML templating syntax to display the name of the person stored in our JSON resume object. If we look, we can see this under basics. So part of the JSON we want to display is name inside of basics. And that's what we have here. Now next, we need to add a script tag. Here we have an export where we're exporting a module named dynamic resume. The properties or props field is named metadata. Under our created event, which is called every time this runs, we'll put in a console message. Next, let's open up app.view. This is the main file that controls our application. 
In here, we can have our component information for Hello World. Um, let's delete that. You'll notice in app.view, we have a similar template and script section like our dynamic resume component. Now in our template, let's create a binding. I'll open a dynamic resume tag, and this will be our component that displays our resume data. Remember how we had the props tag for our dynamic resume component? This is where we can pass in data to that component and it can process it. We will bind that metadata property to resume data, which doesn't exist yet. So we're calling our dynamic resume component, passing in resume data, which will be our JSON, and then it will display on the screen. So we need that JSON. Now this is easy to do. First, we need to import the dynamic resume component. And we'll do this by using an import statement and say, import everything from dynamic resume, and that code is stored in dynamic resume.view. Then we're going to read in our JSON data. This is super easy. We'll do that by saying import in the JSON data from our resume.json that lives in our assets folder. Now notice in Visual Studio that both lines are a little dim. This is because we're not using it yet. We have to tie all of these together. And we'll do that with this code. Now we're exporting the default module like before and registering our dynamic resume component. For the data portion, we're going to use this resume data that we're posting to our dynamic resume component. And this comes from the raw JSON data that we're importing. Okay, so now that we have all that put together, let's step back and take a look at how all of this works. So we have a visitor to our website and they make a request that goes to app.view. App.view loads in the resume JSON and the dynamic resume component. App.view then sends the JSON to dynamic resume and that breaks down the data and sends it back in a templated format. App.view then turns that into HTML that the visitor can see. It's a pretty simple system at this point. Let's see if it works. We'll open up a terminal and type in npm run serve. And we can see our local URL here. Great. So we load up a web browser and we see the view logo and our name is displayed. Awesome. It works as expected. So let's add some more data to this component. Now, if we look at the resume.json, we can see how things are broken out. We did basics.name to get John Doe. Let's add the label and email address to that page. So let's add some more. We'll add in the label, which in this case is programmer and email to show the email address. And it's that simple. We can really mess around with this component to get a great look and feel for it. And we're going to do that. Now, as we look through the JSON, you might notice something. When we get to work, that's the work history portion and it's a separate object. This is because obviously we can have multiple work items. So we need to account for that and here's how we'll do it. Here's where my work history will reside. And what I need to do is iterate through the work items and display them. And I'll do that with a B-4 loop. And it looks like this. Now I'm going to create an unordered list at first, just to try this out. Within that list, I'll have my list items and we're going to insert B-4 into that list item. View will then iterate through the metadata.work list and display this item for each one we have. Now view requires an index and we'll use work item.name as our unique key. Now we close it and I can insert data items from within the work body to display here. I'm going to copy all of our elements from the JSON, comment it out, and then insert each of these into the template. And there we go, it looks great. Now I can wrap divs around these and add some styling so it looks a little better. And I can add those styles at the bottom of the script. Okay, now I've saved you the trouble of watching me struggle through the CSS, and now you can see what it looks like. Instead of an unordered list, I've got this broken up into divs, and I've styled it up. Now I noticed in this JSON that highlights is another list. So here I've created an unordered list once again, and we're using V4 to render it out. I have a set of divs here that will represent all of our data. If we scroll down here, we have a style section again, which will be all of the styles that we want to use within this component. And now we have our work history displayed.
What's cool about how this JSON is structured is we can use V4 to loop through everything that's a list. So we can easily add new work history like this. We'll add it in and now we refresh and there's another work item. Also our highlights are a list. So if we add highlights like this, we can see that they're listed out. Great. And we can repeat this for other elements on the page. And here I've added a few more items for awards, certificates, and publications. And it looks great. Now let's get this added to GitHub. So I'm at my GitHub page and I'll create a new repository. And I'll call it JSON Resume Web. And I'll have it add a README page. Now I'm going to copy the URL here. And I'll clone that repo onto my computer by typing in git clone and the URL. Now we'll take our files from our application that we just built and copy them into that folder. To add these files to git, I'll type in git add period and then commit them with git commit dash m and then my commit message. And then we'll type in git push to publish the files to GitHub. And now my application is stored on GitHub. Now, if you'd like to get the code that we just built in the video, here's the URL. So to recap, we created a JSON file with our job history. Actually, we didn't create it. We found a cool one online. Then we included our contact information that was included in that JSON. And we used JavaScript to render it to HTML and then added it to a GitHub repository. So I think we've successfully met all the rules here for this challenge. All right, thanks for sticking with me through this. And that concludes this video on my entry into the portfolio challenge. So send me your submissions, upload them to GitHub on your public profile and send me the URL. My email is jeremy-morgan at pluralsight.com. You can also tag me on Twitter at Jeremy C. Morgan or at Pluralsight on Twitter. And be sure to share it in our Discord. I'd love to check out your submissions and stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot more with this portfolio project in our next stage. I hope to see you there.